Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show a, another really cool team using one of the tarot card troops. A couple of days ago, I showed a team using the Star, which combined with Shabani, Vespera, and Rope Dart, combined to pretty devastating effect. But this time, I am going to show the team with the Emperor in a similar kind of idea. But this one is more viable for Guild Wars, if you so desire. The Rope Dart one was good, but it was more of a fun team, really. It's like a little bit too slow going at the beginning without a little bit of luck to be risky enough or to be worth risking for Guild Wars. But this one has a fast start too, and it has a very kind of similar effect. What we have is the Emperor, Sharbanu, Vespera, Orb of Winter, and the Mirage Queen. The Mirage Queen gives all elemental allies a 50% start with mana, and the main part of her spell is convert all green gems to Doom Skulls. Shabani Vespera is the key to this team and is an elemental, so it's going to start with 13 out of that required 26 mana. Gives 23 initially, in my case, to a random skill on an ally, creates 9 gems of their mana colour, then repeats 2 more times for random allies. So cast this on a single coloured ally and you have a massive chance of generating tons of that colour for the rest of the team. Now the way this works is, when you use the Emperor, this gives a really good amount to all skills on the first ally. And there's a 7% chance of an extra turn for each blue gem on the board. So, 7-7 seven is a 49, so that means if we've got 14 blue gems there, this is a 98% chance of an extra turn. And anything more than that is guaranteed an extra turn. It's like, literally, if you're not frozen, you'll just buff yourself up. We'll have the Emperor on top. He'll be increasing his own skills by that amount initially. But the important thing to remember is, is to all skills, which includes his magic. So basically, that number that gets increased every single time you cast will go up and up and up. And it can go really crazy, really quickly. And he becomes just mega, mega powerful. So um, that is the way the team is going to work. We're going to have the Orb of Winter here as a backup. Deals damage to all enemies, boosted by frozen enemies. And the enemy will get frozen when we get four matches and things like that, because we're in Elementalist class. But this is mainly here, just in case you get those teams where they get a barrier to all allies and things like that. Really good to take that barrier away with this first before casting the Emperor, because his attack is going to go absolutely nuts. Just a few casts on himself and his attack goes really high. Any green skulls, doom skulls are going to be devastating and going to basically wreck through the opponent really, really quickly. Just show the banner quick because it is better to show this team in action. Plus two blue minus, uh, plus one yellow minus one green is the banner. And we are in elementalist class. That awesome third trait. Talent trees are snap freeze, insulated, a thunder fist, watery binding, rock solid, really good. Lightning Strike and Fortitude. Let's jump into a few PvPs. What have we got? Guardian Crown Thrall, the Grey King, Daughter of Ice. So we're looking to get a Sharbanu up first and foremost if we can. Grab that four match. Yeah, let's just see what this is going to do. Red to blue, I don't want to give them a massive bunk up if I can, and help. So we'll grab that ourselves. And we'll grab that one, and we're good to go. Now we we'll cast this on the Emperor, this is not enough first, 49 is effectively 49%, that is not enough, so we'll cast this onto the Emperor. That's created a load of blue, as she will do most of the time. Now the Orb of Winter is up. This is good if Sharbanu decides to bung some magic onto this and increase it, because it will go up really quickly. But I like to keep it there sometimes, just as a uh, backup. Just in case you get these enemies that give barrier to all or something like that, when everyone's got a barrier, it's really good to cast Orb of Winter first. That takes away that barrier, and then our Emperor can do some really devastating damage. And at the same time, we can keep a constant lookout for converting all green to Doom Skulls. Because, of course, when the Emperor keeps on boosting up his own skills, his attack is going to go through the roof at the same time and be absolutely devastating. So we'll cast this back onto the Emperor. We created loads of blue. 98% chance of an extra turn. If this doesn't work, I will feel 
positively ripped off and i do feel positively ripped off did you see that this game oh my god 98 percent chance that was of an extra turn <laughs> and he said nah nah it didn't happen mate sorry <laughs> oh gems of war you gotta love their mathematicians and how they work out the odds anyway it is what it is that happened um, let's get that first. That's going to be leaving plenty, and any skull hits are going to do 158 damage. Unless they get dodge or something like that non stop, which probably will happen. This is going to give a skull hit as well. Oh dear, that was funny. 98% chance. I'm sure that was 98% chance. And anyway, you can look out for this as well, but don't take it absolutely straight away. The cool thing about the Emperor is it doesn't change the board at all. And you can use this to your advantage. We've got enough blue here now to be guaranteed an extra turn. The boost is plus 126. So we cast this. We've now got 189 attack. And now giving 47 to all skills. So now if we want, we can do this. Lots of damage. Mirage Queen's got charged up again. So we can do that again. Got 189 attacks. These skulls are going to really, really hurt. Pain and suffering for the enemy. Alright, we're stunned. But we've lost that grant a random status effect to a random ally. But we still get the skills boost. And that is the absolutely main thing. And let's cast this on the Emperor again. These skull hits are just knocking them out. Just crazy. Let's finish in a blaze of glory. So really, really cool. The fact that Mirage Queen works with the Emperor in that kind of way is nice. And we've got the Orb of Winter backing things up and Shabanu literally doing the magic. Let's do another one. Child of Summer, Yao Guai, Doomed Crossbow, Obsidious. This is pretty dangerous. Not sure this is the kind of team I would use against this one. But we'll see what happens anyway. It's good to find out what teams a certain team is good against and what teams it's vulnerable to. I was going to get that, but I don't want to give him a load of yellow. Brown to red. Let's see if I can stop any huge amounts of mana going to them. Okay, that's not too bad. Too bad, he says. It's 56% chance of an extra turn. It's not massive. Don't mind giving him that skull hit, so I'm going to get a big bunch to my skills and a chance of an extra turn, which did happen. Now let's try and get Shabano up. It is important. Imperative, even. Manos. Right. We got an extra turn out of that, so that's good. There's not a ton of blue there, so this is not guaranteed to get going absolutely straight away, but hopefully it will, and it did. Not. Something happened. Anyway. Right. Lots of blue there. 77% chance, not quite enough. Let's chuck this on the Emperor again. Now there's even less there. Well, that didn't work out too great. But on 89 attack, that has been boosted. So she'll take that and party. Green to skulls and nothing doing. But we'll definitely get that. Let's cast not that. That was 63% effectively. That's not enough. Let's cast this back onto the Emperor. That's better. That's 126 now boost. So guaranteed extra turn. Cast Shabanu again. Grab some of this first. There's not a lot of blue there. Hopefully we'll get more than that. I don't like to do it when it's on a less than guaranteed amount, if you like. We can take these skull hits if we want. But again, you can just cast Shabanu again. Yagwai's getting slapped around a bit now, which is what you want to see. That's been boosted to 78 to all enemies, but doesn't have an extra turn, so you want to basically keep this going all those skull hits are hurting him badly now we've got this lovely mirage queen lineup with that extra damage that the emperor does see you later yow 
Let's cast this back onto the Emperor. 77% chance, not enough. Green to skulls, not quite. Cast it back onto the Emperor. And... Yep, 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 we can do that. We can do that. Four percent chance. Let's give it a risk. Two hundred and thirteen damage. Near death. Let's finish off with um, the Orb of Winter, which now does one hundred and one damage to all enemies. So another comfortable victory against an ordinarily very dangerous opponent. Uh, let's do one more. Show it one more time. But yeah, another really cool team. Cedric Sparkle Sack. Egg Thief, Doomed Ram, and Greed. So we're looking to get Shabanu and the Emperor up as fast as possible. Shabanu will be ready after that, so that's good. 84% chance of that extra turn, so that is good, but... Not as good as guaranteed, which is, is when it's above 100. 98% chance. That's as good as guaranteed, but I, it did actually fail a minute ago on 98, which was a slight surprise. But can't do it again, surely. Oh, that's been boosted up already, I think. 70, not enough. Cast Shabanu again. That's not enough as well, because a lot of them have disappeared. 77 to cast Shabanu again. Oh, she's made other stuff appear. Shabanu, stop being awkward. 98, that's not too bad. We'll do that. Shabanu again on the Emperor. 119, 67 to all skills. 200 attack. Over 600 combined armor and life. Now we'll start looking out for these green conversions. For the Mirage Queen. And there it is. There's one. Lovely one. See you later. Cedric, mate. Let's cast that on the Emperor again. Mirage Queen. Yep. Again, like, um, don't cast Mirage Queen straight away. No need. Get some extra attack first. This is 84% chance to work. There you go, now we've got 337 attack, because it clearly wasn't enough a minute ago. And then, <laughs> Annihilation. But there it is, there's the team, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, any of that stuff, be sure to click that like and subscribe button. And why not tell your guild, tell your other friends that play Gems of War and stuff like that. See if they subscribe too, it's all good. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again later. Bye for now.